Hello everybody, this is TT Lemon. What I have here is what I believe to be the smallest conditional block swapper in Minecraft at the moment with the double extender going upwards. And right now I have it configured as a hidden crafting bench. So we've got a block in the floor there. I'm going to hit a button, that's going to drop away, and the crafting bench is going to pop out of the ground. Crash the button again, and it disappears. So I'll crack away the outside and show you how it works. So I've trailed the input round here to show you a better example of how it actually works. So at the moment you can see these pistons here are extended because this piston here is powering this one down here and also this repeater and this one's being powered through that block. Now when I press the button, double extend is going to fire, let's bring this crafting bench back into this position and then when the ship goes over you can see this only extends at one and this piston here doesn't extend like it did before and this is because before that was only getting powered because there was a block in this space here but now that block's been removed and it's up there so there's nothing to power this piston and it doesn't get moved and that's the basic concept behind how these work and these pistons at the back here all they're doing is firing every time which toggle which piston is extended so bring the input background here and I'll explain the different circuits to you so when I press the button, first thing that's going to happen is this torch going to turn off, which if that one was extended, it'd bring that down. And two ticks later, this is going to turn off, which is going to bring it all down. And now if you need to double send, you need a pulse to the piston again when it's like this. Your block's going to be up there, you need a pulse to bring it down. So I provide that with a torch here which has got a really funky little monostable here which is delayed here there's all kinds of strange things which how I managed to fit in such a small space so after this stuff's happened here and this um, repeater will have turned off which will turn this off, which will turn this off which will turn that torch on and then that will do the pulse but that torch needs to turn back off again so four ticks after the input's been inputted this is going to come along, repower that, repower that, turn that back off again and that will happen really quickly in succession as you can see there now you may be wondering, this torch is down here so why is it pulsing the piston here? that's because of how the update orders happen in Minecraft if I've got two pistons like this and that torch in their powers the top one's actually going to get powered first because of the block there not quite sure why that happens, but it's a really handy thing and useful things red sonos use all the time. And then after that, one tick pulse has come through here to bring the block back into its final position. This repeat is going to fire, which first of all is going to pulse this piston, which is going to shove the crafting bench into that position, shove that back. And it's also going to do a really cool thing with these redstone blocks here, which I'll show you what happens now. So here the little setup here is which is for the block swapper. Now as you can see at the moment in the default position this red box here which is powering this piston which got all that pushed over and this isn't powered because there's nothing to power it. Now when this piston pushes out instantly this is turned off and then once this piston gets here it will turn this piston on push that redstone block out here and push that over and that happens really quickly and it just swaps the box over and now when I turn this lever off this is going to um, drop back which is going to instantly turn that piston off because these two pistons instantly drop back because pistons are instant when they do that and then one and a half ticks later I think it will be this will turn on like that now in here I'm not using a lever because button input I just one tick pulse it every time so that does the same thing it just um, once it pulses that redstone block and it's like that now this isn't the optimum way to set up a system like that it's actually better if you do something like this and you can extend this piston out even further if you do this and I think this is a really cool thing for using in block swappers I would have used the redstone line running across like that but unfortunately I just didn't have the room in the circuit have the extra piston which makes it a bit slower but it's not really noticeable because of the delay of that button now I'm going to show you how to build it 
to start out with, we're going to have our basic piston layout, which is going to have our crafting bench above the floor like this, with two pistons below, and the floor level is going to be along here, and the block we want to swap it with right here. Now, the input is going to come out one from this gap here, and I just have a torch at the back here to show you how to do that. So basically, you are going to want to set it up like this, input's going to go here, floor level's there. So as I just had, you're going to have a torch on the back of your input block there, where your button is, and then we're going to take a redstone dust output from there, like that, and have a two tick repeater here, which will make that go down nicely and bring it down in a nice manual fashion. Next, we're going to need the pulse limiter for pulsing it to bring the block down there. We're going to do that by bringing this redstone down, going into a one tick. And that goes into a block here, which is on the side of this piston. So, you can see that works now. We just need the pulse limiter to send a pulse into a block here. The way we're going to do that is by creating the monostable circuit like this. As you can see, when I press the button, that's going to flickly flick off. But unfortunately, in the state it is now, the pulse happens too early to pulse this piston correctly, so we need to add some delay. So to do that, we're going to put a repeater there, coming out of that, which goes into a block, which goes into a redstone dust there, and a torch there. Now, as you can see, perfect double extender. Now all we have to do is swap the blocks over. So to do that, we're going to take a signal from here, but we want it at a one tick delay. So it'll come out of there, one tick repeater, into block there with dust on top. And that will power this piston, like that. But also it's going to go into a sticky piston facing towards us on the side of that dust. I'm going to put a redstone block like that. The next piston I'm going to place on the side here. And put another redstone block there. Now press the button. And it works perfectly. As you can see, this box is a pulse, like I showed you earlier, which swaps everything over. And your build is done. So, if you have any questions about how this works, or it doesn't work for you, leave a, something in the comments and I'll be sure to reply to you. If you like the video, give it a like. And if you want to see more of my stuff, subscribe. Thank you for watching, and this has been TT Lemon.